Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my February favorites. These are products I've been loving in the month of February. I don't want this video to be too long, <laughs> but you all know it's gonna be. And I'm gonna start off with brushes because I have a few to share with you guys. I rarely ever talk about brushes in my favorites video, but this month I have like a lot. So the first pair of brushes I wanna share with you isn't exactly like a specific brush, but more so a line of brushes. And they are the Wet n Wild brushes. Now, aside from the Real Techniques brushes, I think these are the best ones at the drugstore. They aren't labeled with a specific name, which is the only thing I don't like about these, but they are labeled like on the actual packaging that you buy this, like the little slip. I ended up getting all of them and I just love them so much and they are all under like $5. I don't think there is a brush in this line that is more than five bucks. And that is crazy considering the quality. If you guys saw my huge drugstore hits and misses video that I recently did. I do not like the new Revlon brushes and they're like $10, $14 each for the face brushes. It's ridiculous and they shed. They're not my favorite. Save your money and get these. These are so much better and so much cheaper. So I didn't think I would love this brush as much as I do. This is the Morphe E44 brush and it's amazing for foundation. It's really big, so if you are someone who likes a smaller brush to apply your foundation, you're not gonna like this. But because of the shape and like how dense it is, it's so great to just buff into your skin and you get like an airbrushed look in, in no time. I used it today for my foundation. I literally pumped it on this and then I just buffed it in and I did my whole face like in a minute. It was crazy. I really, really, really love this. I've been using it for like two and a half weeks and I cannot get enough of this. This is also a pretty recent purchase for me, but I had to mention it because I am completely in love with this. This is from the Sephora Pro brand or the Sephora Pro line of brushes. And this is their foundation number 47 brush. It looks really similar to that like Marc Jacobs foundation brush where it's long on one side and then it kind of slants down. I love this for my under eye concealer, which is saying a lot because I love my Sedona Lace 217, but I've been using this ever since I bought it and it's amazing. The shape just gets right underneath your eyes and it just blends the concealer so nicely. And then my last favorite brush of the month has been this bad boy right here. And this is the NYX number no. two brush. This is so good for bronzing. I bought this on the NYX website. I'm not sure if they're in store. I haven't really seen them in store yet, but I haven't really gone anywhere recently. It looks like a giant fan brush, but obviously it's a lot thicker. It's like not a fan brush, but you know what I mean? Because of its shape, it's perfect to bronze your face. I used it today to apply my bronzer and you could even contour with this if you like a really diffused, soft contour. If you're not into that sculpted look, this is awesome. It's great quality, it doesn't shed on me. It's just so good. You go NYX, it's a great bronzer brush, I love it. Okay, so this next thing is so cool, I love this. This is from the brand Formula X and it is their Delete All. And it's a five finger nail polish remover. So this is nothing new, like a lot of nail polish removers look like this, but I love that it's so big that you can put your entire hand in this. But when you open it, you can't see it, but it has like five little holes that you just put your fingers in and you, oh, I have no nail polish on, I'll show you. So you just put your fingers in and then you move your fingers around and then all of your nail polish is gone. I promise you this takes my nail polish off in seconds. It's crazy. I haven't tried it with like really chunky glittery nail polish because I don't like using these kinds of things with those kinds of nail polishes because the glitter kind of stays in this. But for regular manicures, dude, this takes it off like this and you get all your fingers in there. So it's like you're removing your nail polish so fast. I hate removing nail polish. It's like you're sitting there with your acetone. This stuff, it does it so quickly and I don't find that it dries out my nails. Every time I go into Walgreens to buy like nail polish remover, I always use non-acetone. But even though this does have like the acetone in it, it doesn't dry out my nails. I mean, it's not super moisturizing by any means, but it's not crazy dry. I really love this. This makes doing my manicure so much easier because I don't go to a salon, I do it at home. So I, I, I appreciate this so much. I gotta give a shout out to some ColourPop lippies. The first one, ah, the first one is Lumiere 2. This is their ultra matte lip. It's the liquid lipstick I'm wearing today, but I mixed in a little bit of Mac Magenta. I believe that's what I mixed in. 
I don't remember. And I just did that. Wow. I put it back. What? Anyway, it's a really beautiful mauve purple shade and I love it. I love the pictures you guys have been sending me on Twitter. I've been retweeting a ton and I've just been wearing this. Of course. Of course I have. And then my other favorite... I have been loving Magic Wand. This is their Ultra Satin Lip. I have a full lip swatch video. I will link it down below on their new formula. It's the Ultra Satin Lips. And this is probably my favorite formula of anything ColourPop has ever created. And that's a statement because I love their lippy sticks. This is the best ColourPop product. It's so great. This is the one I've been wearing nonstop. This one is in Magic Wand. I've been wearing this one in like my no makeup makeup days. It's such a pretty everyday nude shade. This is the best formula ever. If you guys are not into the ultra matte lips, this is what you need to get. They aren't transfer proof. They like they'll smear, they'll transfer. They're not as long wearing, but they're still fabulous. Like they do last a long time anyway. I love them. Blah, 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 blah. I love them. I have to mention this eyeliner because even though it's been a favorite since I was like 16 years old, I've been using it so much more recently. I kind of forgot about it for a little bit, but I've rediscovered it and I love it. This is the MAC Eye Cole in the shade Costa Riche. It's the best eyeliner MAC has in my opinion. I wore it all throughout high school and it's just the best. If you have green eyes or if you have hazel eyes, or if you have like really light brown eyes and you want to emphasize them, this is the eyeliner you need to get. This makes green eyes 20 times greener. It's incredible. It just really, really emphasizes the green in your eyes. So even if you have a little bit of green, go pick up Costa Riche by MAC because it is like a life-changing eye coal. So creamy and it just, poof, your eyes, it just makes them go. The highlight I have been using all month long is from ColourPop. This is their Super Shock Cheek in the shade Smokin' Whistles. This is the highlight I am wearing on my face right now. Just this. I don't have any other highlight on my face. This is the highlight I was wearing in my Awkward Boy Stories Cat Chats video. A lot of you guys were asking me, like, what is on your face? It was this. I always have the makeup I'm wearing in my description box, by the way. Like, if I'm filming a video where I already have makeup on... It will always be in my description box, like what I'm wearing. Wisp was my all-time favorite ColourPop highlighter, but I think I like this one even more because it just complements my skin tone so much when I'm not self-tan. It's beautiful. It's like a mix between a white, a pearl, a pink, a champagne. It's... I love it. I just... Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. My next favorite is a concealer I bought off of Amazon because I don't think we can get this brand in the States. Pretty positive we cannot. This is from the brand Collection. And this is their Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. 16 hour wear. I bought mine in the shade... Oh, Fair One. This concealer is no joke. This is so full coverage, at least on me. Like, when I apply it, I have to blend it out almost immediately because it's so full coverage, but it's not thick or disgusting. I will say though, if you have dry under eyes like me, you will need to use like an eye cream before, like a moisturizer of some sort, because this can be a little bit drying. But it's okay. I, I mean, I wear eye cream anyway. It's so great. I really love this, especially for the price. So good. If you can get collection in your country or if you can find it on Amazon, this Lasting Perfection Concealer is the business. This is a weird product I didn't think I was going to like. I thought it was a little bit gimmicky, to be honest. It was sent to me. This is the Smashbox Instamat Lipstick Transformer. Basically what this is, it's pretty much to make any lipstick you own matte. Now, I'm not saying to throw on a super creamy, glossy lipstick and then put this on. It probably won't make it matte. My favorite way to use this is with my Lippy Stick in Taurus. I love this so much, but if you're really, really familiar with the matte lipsticks from ColourPop, they're not like super matte. They have a little bit of creaminess to them, which I really like, but sometimes I want it to look extra, extra matte. I will just take this product, dab some on my finger, and then just apply it. Like I'll start dabbing it on my lips and like instantly it looks seriously matte. Now it doesn't turn your lipsticks into liquid lipsticks. Like if it's a lipstick that transfers, this doesn't make it transfer proof or waterproof or anything proof. It just mattifies it. Okay, so I want to talk about complexion products. And the first thing is my Manic Panic 
Dream Tone Flawless Foundation Color Corrector. I have mine in the shade Virgin, which says whitest white in parentheses. I have been using this to lighten my foundation and I completely love this. I have a lot of foundations in my collection that are my summer color and I can't really use them in the winter, but now I can. So I use my foundations a lot more often thanks to this guy. I bought it off of Amazon. It wasn't like super pricey or anything. I think it was like $10, I believe. And I've just been using this with so many foundations. It's amazing. One of the foundations I've been using it with is actually my next favorite. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. This is too dark for me. I bought it online, so I was just winging it. But with my Dream Tone Foundation by Manic Panic, it gets the job done. I'm so surprised that I like this as much as I do. With my skin type, you guys know I have really dry skin. I didn't think I was going to like this. This is a matte foundation, and it's really thick. It has full coverage, which I don't mind the full coverage, but I usually stay away from thick matte foundations. But this is not cakey on my skin. I have to use a beauty blender. If I use a brush, it does look a little bit too too much, too found, like makeup-y. But with a beauty blender, it just, it's so beautiful. It lasts all day. The only thing is I don't like, it's a little bit tacky when you apply it, so I do have to set it. This is a foundation I do have to set, but that's okay. I really love the bottle. I love the pump. I really, really, really like this. I don't know why, but I've just been gravitating towards it and I find that it looks so beautiful on the skin. I think you'll like this if you have oily skin or normal skin. And maybe if you have dry skin, you'll like it. I do, but I don't know why. It's just, I think it's beautiful. Another face product I really want to mention is this bad boy right here. This is the Clarins UV Plus HP Broad Spectrum SPF 40 sunscreen multi-protection tint anti-pollution oil free in the shade light it has a lot of thing it has a lot of words on this i bought this at sephora and i really just wanted a tinted moisturizer that wasn't dewy like that wasn't super glowy or dewy which you guys know i do like that finish but sometimes when it's hot outside and i don't want to put on foundation i live in miami it's really hot here recently it's been cold which is weird. But anyway, it's really hot here. I wanted something that kind of had like a powdery finish, but it wasn't gonna dry out my skin. I was just on the hunt, and I finally found something that I love. This has a powdery finish. Like when I'm done putting it on my entire face and I touch my face, there's no tackiness to it, so I don't feel the need to set it, which I love because I can reapply it throughout the day. I have been using this so much. I went to a spa yesterday and I knew that I was gonna be in the sun, like eating lunch after. And I didn't put on makeup, I just put on a little bit of mascara and I rubbed this in my face with my fingers and it was beautiful. It has sheer coverage, but it gives your face like some life. It evens out your skin tone. I put this on with my fingers. It's my favorite way to apply it and it's so easy. One of my favorite discoveries, seriously. You guys knew this was coming. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer has been my favorite bronzer this month. This is the bronzer I'm wearing on my face today. Yes. It smells like a pina colada, like I've said a million times, but it is a very strong scent. Like I've said a million times. But it's my favorite. I think I might like this just as much as my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, which is my favorite drugstore bronzer. I, don't, I, I love this. Mine is in the shade bronzer. It does come in two shades. I thought it didn't, but it does. It comes in bronzer and light bronzer. And the bronzer shade is pretty light. Like this is pretty light. So I can't imagine how light the light bronzer shade is. They need to come out with a darker shade because if you have like medium to deep skin tones, this probably won't show up on you, which sucks because I think that it's so good. So Physicians Formula, if you're watching, you're probably not. You need to make this in a darker shade so we can all wear it because it's really amazing. I know I have mentioned this in a favorites video before, but I love it so much that I have to talk about it again. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder with collagen silk peptides and antioxidants. I wasn't a fan of the Bye Bye Pores powder when it was in the loose tub, but this pressed version is amazing. If all my powders, literally every powder I own disappeared and I could only keep two, I would keep my RCMA No Color Powder and this. This is like the perfect touch-up powder in my opinion. Because the packaging is great, you mean you have a sponge on the bottom. It's perfect for on the go. This literally, guys, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but this literally erases your pores. Like, you see them being erased. Sometimes I'll put on like a really beautiful luminous primer and those 
kinds of primers don't really you know fill in your pores they just give you a really luminous base so when I'm done with my makeup completely done I'll just dust a little bit of this right here where my pores are really visible and they're gone they're invisible they just disappear this is so freaking amazing and then my last favorite is this so if you follow Desi Desi Perkins on snapchat like I do she had uh, she was talking about this thing called the Kapari bronze liquid something that she uses when she goes like on vacations or like at the beach or whatever and it's really glowy and beautiful and that's what she uses on her skin so I screenshotted it when she was talking about it and I immediately went online to purchase it and it came with this like I didn't add this to my cart and it said enjoy a free little gift for purchasing or something it was really weird this is the Kapari coconut oil sugar scrub the brand is Kapari by the way I had never heard anything about this brand until I went to go purchase that thing. I'm so glad that they included like a little free gift because if not, I don't think I would have ever discovered this. This is a super ultra hydrating, oily sugar scrub. So I use this in the shower and this is perfect for you if you have very, very, very dehydrated, like dry skin on your body because it is made with organic coconut oil. So you have kind of an oily residue. I don't want that to scare you, but once you're done like scrubbing all the dead skin off your body, you feel super like slick. It's just perfect. I love it. It really gets rid of all my dead skin, but then I don't have to like put on body butter after because your skin feels so slick and, and amazing. So I really, really, really have been loving that. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These are products I've really, really been loving in the month of February. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite product was this month. Maybe I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.